Welcome back. As you likely know, Randall's been doing a series of informative reports about colorectal cancer. Highly curable when it's found early, but too often it's not. Yeah, that's right. And today I bring you the story of a local woman. She was diagnosed with stage four colorectal cancer just a few months after her 49th birthday. But as she'll tell you, her faith, family, friends, and even a sense of humor have kept her going strong. It was in November of 2016. Katie Daly remembers when cancer interrupted her life. I had like this pop feeling in my stomach. And I was like, oh, kind of felt like a, like a gas pain. But a doctor let her know there was a little bit more behind that pain. He said, your appendix burst. And I was like, oh, okay. Thinking that was the end of her troubles, it was only the beginning. I had a follow-up with a surgeon in Andrews County, and um, she said, you need to do a colonoscopy. That's how they found them. And I had uh, several polyps removed, and there were two tumors. Life as she knew it was about to change. And then my first question was, who's going to take care of my dog? Lisa, one of her best friends, had a more sobering question for the doctors. He asked the question, you know, the obvious question is, you know, what's the timeline? You know, what are we looking at? Katie said the doctor was hesitant to give them his answer. Statistically, you know, with her type of cancer, he said it's one to three years. I just looked at him and I said, I'm going to be better than your statistics. And he said, I hope you are. Five years later, turns out hope was enough. In between family featuring a few granddaughters. He has a lot of motivation. Like, I got to see these girls grow. Faith. It is well with my soul. A new friend. Andrea. Hey, girl, hey. <laughs> That's me and Andrea. And a group of survivors called the Colon Stars. She would have a whole tribe. The people that, you know, I can call on and, um, you know, when I'm feeling down or... You know, I can rally them up. And, and if you keep up with her on Facebook, you find out very quickly that she's got faith mixed in with a whole lot of fun. I've heard a lot about this as a human. <laughs> Sayings and phrases like, make your booty call, creating lighthearted ways to draw attention to a sensitive subject. Katie also draws motivation from the memory of her friend, Kirsten Roberts. Although they were decades apart, they shared a close bond through their battle with colon cancer. Katie remembers having a hard time saying goodbye. What was that part like? Very hard. Held her hand. I just kept telling her how much I loved her. I told her how beautiful she was. I told her how thankful I was that God put her in my life and what an inspiration she was to me. Even though Kirsten isn't with us in the flesh, Katie believes her spirit lives on. You are still making a difference. Your story is still being told and you're still touching lives. I love you. And I know we'll meet again someday. Now Katie wants a stronger spotlight on colon cancer and when people can get tested for it. It's not a old people's disease, you know, and it took a beautiful young lady. Even though I was diagnosed at 49, they thought I had it from five to 10 years prior. And she's hoping to encourage as many survivors as she can. And for those that are fighting, keep fighting, you know, and find your positive. Well, uh, Katie tells me she has plans to take the Roberts family uh, out for dinner very soon. Uh, she also believes that even though the age for people to get screened is now down to 45, it should be even younger. And as we know from Kirsten's story, you know, diagnosed it at, uh, in a very young age and, and died at 23. So Randy was saying as it was airing there that uh, this would fit in very nicely under the Finding Faith umbrella. Yeah. That's certainly what we're looking at.